One of the biggest misconceptions about substance abuse is that someone will say that they're only hurting themselves, when this is completely wrong. Substance abuse hurts the people the closest to them because number one, it dominates their thoughts and actions. And it does this by simply taking control of their behavior. Number two, it occupies their time, money, and attention. An example of this would be spending the house payment or the car payment or the rent on drugs instead of the family or even taking groceries um, off the table by spending their paycheck before they go out and provide for their family. And number three, it deteriorates their values and behavior. Um, people's moral compasses will change uh, regarding uh, the drugs that they use or the situations they're in. Um, stealing or um, cheating or using people or manipulating people uh, will no longer become a factor in their way of thinking. All of these changes directly affect the whole family. Constant unpredictability causes the family members to be unable to predict the unstable actions of the addict. And number one, the non-user begins to take on emotional and physical problems. And number two, family members become filled with hurt, anger, loneliness, fear, shame, and guilt. And lastly, number three, family members begin to suffer from rejection, abandonment, and all forms of abuse. Let's look at what's really at stake for family members of the substance abuser. Unfortunately, this is a lose-lose situation, and every family member that has a healthy relationship begins to deteriorate. Let's look at how substance abuse hurts the people closest to the addict. Number one, a lack of trust. The addict's promise soon loses credibility during the brief times of sobriety. And number two, the inability to communicate. Effectively, the family loses their ground by simply not communicating their thoughts and feelings during this time because they don't want any confrontation or arguments to arise. Number three, inappropriate coping skills. The family loses their ability to cope with emotions in a healthy manner. As addiction progresses, family tension and hopelessness increase. The family is unable to differentiate the addict from the drug. And unfortunately, this causes the family to want to disconnect from the addict altogether. Families can take back what was lost, and they can win at this, but this will take time and work. The addict focuses on the chemical, the family focuses on the addict, and both of these are wrong. The family members have relinquished control over their own lives. In order to stop this cycle, they must regain control and take back their own lives. Please check out our other videos as we address how to regain control. Visit us on our YouTube channel or follow us on our Twitter or Facebook pages.